Hey there, welcome to another video. This is Teacher Martinez RD, Unit 16. What's your excuse? Interchange 2, fourth edition. Okay, so what's your excuse? We're going to start with snapshot. Okay, number one, excuses, excuses, excuses. So if you want to end in a phone call, you can say, I'm driving right now, or my battery is dying. Okay, mi batería está muriendo, literalmente. Or you can say, my cell phone is dead. Okay. Cuando están hablando de celulares, utilizan esta palabra, dying, dead. Okay. My battery is dying. My cell phone is dead. Okay. Ending a phone call. What about forgetting to meet someone? You can say, I remember the day wrong. I forgot to check my calendar. Okay. Not doing homework. My computer crashed. I thought it was due tomorrow. I thought, pensé que era para mañana. I thought it was due tomorrow. Getting to class late. Some people say, I couldn't get a ride. I couldn't get a ride. Uh, get a ride es como un aventón, dicen en México. Una bola, dicen en República Dominicana. No sé cómo lo dicen en tu país. So, uh, get a ride. Okay. Or, I missed the bus. I miss the bus. Perdí el autobús. Uh, no accepting a day. A day es como cuando tú sales con una persona, una cita. Okay, a date. I already have plans. That is one excuse. Or I have a doctor's appointment. Okay, now grammar focus. Grammar focus. Report a speech. Request. Okay, the original request is, for example, bring a dictionary tomorrow bring a dictionary tomorrow try un diccionario mañana bring a dictionary tomorrow so report request you say he said to bring a dictionary tomorrow so if it's if it's a man you use he si es un hombre usamos he si es una mujer usamos she okay in this case it's a man so we use he said to bring a dictionary tomorrow Entonces, he said to, he said to, agregamos eso, he said to, y luego lo demás, he said to bring a dictionary tomorrow. Or you can say, he told me to, he told me to bring a dictionary tomorrow. He told me to bring a dictionary tomorrow. Él dijo, trae un diccionario mañana, o, o él me dijo que trajera un diccionario mañana, ¿ok? Okay, don't stay out past midnight. He said not to stay out past midnight. Or she told me not to stay out past midnight. Okay, she said not to. She told me not to. Very important. Can you play your music more quietly? He asked me to play my music more quietly. He asked me to play my music because if you have your here you have to change into my because it's a report request okay he asked me to play my music more quietly okay amanda is having a surprise party for albert look at what she told the guests write each request using say tell or ask so if you see can you you know it's ask right if it's negative, you have to use not, okay? If it's positive, just to, okay? Let's see. Number one, meet at Albert's apartment at 7.30. So remember that uh, she told the guests, it's in plural, okay? That's why you, you can see here, she told them, 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 ellos. She told them because we are talking about the guests. Okay, los invitados, en plural. So, she told them to meet at Albert's apartment at 7.30. She told them to meet at Albert's apartment at 7.30. Okay, number two, can you bring your favorite mu music? Can you bring your favorite music? She asked, remember, can you, can you ask? She asked them 
to bring their favorite music. Your change into their, right? Your change into mine. So she asked them to bring their favorite music. Okay, you have to complete the rest of these. Okay, now we have word power, verb and noun pairs. For example, we have here express anger, give a compliment, make an apology, offer your congratulations, and tell a joke. Let's see what can we put here. Express, express sympathy, express sympathy. Okay, give a reason, give a reason. Okay. Make a complaint, make a complaint. Offer an excuse, tell a lie. Okay, so complete the rest of this. Okay, now we have conversation. Are you doing anything on Saturday? Are you doing anything on Saturday? So let's listen and practice. Are you doing anything on Saturday? Part A, listen and practice. Hi, Daniel. Oh, hi, Albert. How are things? Just fine, thanks. Uh, are you doing anything on Saturday night? Hmm, Saturday night? Let me think. Oh, yes. My cousin just called to say he was flying in that night. I told him I would pick him up. Oh, that's too bad. It's my birthday. I'm having dinner with Amanda, and I thought I'd invite more people and make it a party. I'm really sorry, but I won't be able to make it. I'm sorry too, but that's okay. Okay, that was the conversation between Albert and Daniel. So he said, hi, Daniel. Hola, Daniel. Daniel, Daniel. Oh, hi, Albert. Oh, hola, Alberto. o oh, Albert, okay. How are things? ¿Cómo están las cosas? ¿Verdad? Just fine, thanks. Bien, justamente bien, gracias. Oh, are you doing anything on Saturday night? Oh, ¿estás haciendo algo el sábado por la noche? Saturday night, sábado por la noche. Mm, Saturday night? Oh, el sábado por la noche? Let me think. Déjame pensar. Oh, yes. Oh, sí. My cousin just called to say he was flying in that night. Dice que mi primo justamente... Lo llamó y le dijo que iba a viajar esa noche. And I told him I would pick him up. Y yo le dije que lo recogería o lo pasaría a buscar. Oh, that's too bad. It's my birthday. Oh, eso está mal. En el sentido de que él tiene su cumpleaños ese mismo día. Entonces le dice, I'm having dinner with Amanda. And I thought I'd buy more people and make it a party. Está teniendo una cena. Va a tener una cena con Amanda. Y él pensó que invitar más personas para que sea una fiesta. Geek. So, geek, uh, this phrase is an slang. It's an interjection. It's an interjection and a slang. And it means surprise, surprise or wonder. Okay. Y I'm really sorry, but I won't be able to make it. Lo siento mucho, realmente lo siento, pero no podré ir. No, no estaré disponible. I'm sorry too, but that's okay. Yo lo siento también, pero está bien. That's okay. Okay, now we have another grammar focus. Let's listen. Grammar focus. Reported speech. Statements. Direct statement. I'm not feeling well. Reported statement. She said that she wasn't feeling well. I have house guests for the weekend. She said that she had house guests for the weekend. I made a tennis date with Kim. She said that she had made a tennis date with Kim. I have planned an exciting trip. She said that she had planned an exciting trip. We can't come tomorrow. 
They told me that they couldn't come tomorrow. We will be out of town. They told me that they would be out of town. We may go out with friends. They told me that they might go out with friends. So Sandra is having a party at her house on Saturday. Look at these excuses, change then into report a speech, then compare with the partner. So Donna, I have to babysit my nephew that night. So Donna said she had to babysit her nephew that night, or you can say Donna told her she had to babysit her nephew that night. Okay, complete the rest of this. So this is the last unit from this book, Interchange 2, okay, fourth edition. Thank you for watching this video. Please share with your friends and see you next time.